Hello, friends and fellow town builders. I'm going to take a shot here at Townscaper. I've watched my daughter play a ton of this, and she really, really liked it. Um, she's 10, and if she can do it, I can do it, I figure. So uh, I have not played at all, so let's figure out what we can do. I'm just going to press buttons. Okay, that subtracts, that adds. Very cool. We got a tiny house now. Okay, let's... I see we can build out here. Oh, we can build. Oh, that's nice. I, oh, I, oh, wow, that's a nice connector. Look at that. It's a little chair. I like those details. We got a little chair. You might want to have a sit outside after uh, you come out of your long, long hot dog house here. That uh, What you doing in your hot dog house there? It's a wiener dog house. Oh, this is too much fun. The The little pop that it makes is the most satisfying thing. <laughs> I like the little bits of rubble that go in the water. As though, in the construction process, we just like, you just like, boop, you did blob. It's like some Legos went plopping out. Oh, I see, so you can build in some interesting dimensions here. Gee, let's... There we go. Oh wow, it's as easy as that. And then we'll make a yellow. Oh my gosh, I see. And as soon as we did that, it created a walkway instead of roofs. Now, if I were to get rid of one, how does it determine, I wonder? Okay, so you've got a balcony now. Look at a balcony. What is that, a pair of boots? You got some some galoshes, some wellingtons, whatever you call them, and you've got a little chair still here. I like that. So the chair only has two front legs because it's, oh, it's got three. It's resting the other back leg on the concrete. I'm going to assume that's a design choice. That's a clever chair. I like the rungs that come up here from the water. You're going to park your boat here. You're going to get up inside. Okay, well, now I think it's time to go up. Oh my gosh. Hmm. So I was wondering, I was like, are we going to be able to, uh, what kind of monstrosities can we build out, out of this thing? Creating a monster. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there, oh, this is so satisfying. Very intuitive. I, I just, the, the joy I think in it is probably the surprises that you get. Now, how did it decide how would, that it wanted to to kind of torque into a new dimension? So if you do, I, I, I've got a, the, the rules of, of what it's choosing to do, I'm not 100% on. It's interesting, like this plus this equals this. There's a little bit of like architectural math that you can play with. I love that. Oh my gosh. You get rid of that detail. Now suddenly you've got a little uh, set of binoculars here. You can look out. That is incredible. There is a... a any game where you... Oh, no, I wanted to go back to roofs. Um, there's a joy in discovery in these kinds of things. Like, what will this and this do? And I'm imagining I, I can't it must have been a joy for the developer to make a thing like this and to play around with it and continually see what sort of things. I had followed this game. Um, I followed him on Twitter for, for some time. Um, I liked his work, and uh, I was excited to see what came next. And watching the progress of this game, I, it did seem like a joyous process. I don't know, maybe it was a nightmare. <laughs> but it looked like the things that kept coming out and the intriguing sort of the different little bits of, you know, architecture and map that kind of all come out of trying different things. It's really fascinating. Oh, what? So if I, I don't know what that did. Oh, is that, can I just change? Is that what I can do? I'm not sure what that even does. I'm just like trying to inflate it. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't know what I've done. Okay. There's a lot of birds here. This might be a problem. 
let's just confirm I'm not there's nothing I'm missing okay grid full screen yep um, no nope, we're all good we're all good okay so let's keep working on our little town here so I don't know what the story of this town is it's uh it's difficult to say what what are what is our primary industry <laughs> and who who's the most miserable like this town this little thing here is only accessible by boat and it's cut off we had to originally there was some housing here and there was a dispute and we just had to we had to smash out the walls and we had to break it up these are probably two siblings that live here or it's a divorced couple or something i don't know who's living in this this town who's <laughs> we can look from above that is amazing that's very lovely let's see what else do we want to do here um, I don't know, is there a rival town? Is there a rival place here? So I like that we can build these large sort of... Okay. So we'll build now um, a house. Or is this the mayor that lives over here? I don't know. What are they all about? They gotta no. They I think they they definitely don't have anything else going on like that. Is that yeah? You know what that I think is what happens. I think their their whole their system. They it just gets more arcane as they go here. This is they've just wanted to annoy the town next door, so they got a little out of control. Nope. We definitely don't want another house. There we go. Uh, there. There we are. That is looking spectacularly weird. Uh, maybe no. Yeah, that's it. So this grabby claw reaching out. I like that. And maybe this is this White House. Is it really tall? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what this is about. It's like a ladder for giants. Oh, that's amazing. So you can, I see. Oh, and we could continue just going like that. How high does it go? <laughs> this is the biggest jerk lives in this place right here. Just an enormous jerk lording over and only grow like building up simply to lord over the mayor here mayor of uh, wiener dog town is upset yeah do you want to you want to build up further how do you how do you want to oh i see you're getting close to encroachment here is that the idea you're like you know who's going to block your son uh, me. I'm going to block all your sunlight. These are the most obnoxious uh, inter-town rivalries that we, we could come up with, I think. And then you're like, oh no, I, I'm not done being a jerk. Yeah, no, we definitely need to continue building. Let's see. I, I'm just now going to click willy-nilly and see what happens. Because this seems like a, an excessive thing to do. Whoa, things get crazy is what happens. Oh, and you end up with a beautiful walkway. What a view they've got. Lording over the neighbor's town here. Am I getting too close? That's the question they always ask too. Am I? Am I they send a little survey. Are we too close? Hello, neighbors. Do you sometimes feel that... I like the idea that you, to even get into your own town here, you've got to take a boat. These people, I think, would probably be... Um... Oh, wow, now we've turned it into a race course. We've, we actually, once a year, we run an F1 
right around and the sound is horrifying it's just deafening to the villagers below here the birds go mad and they attack the children it's a terrifying and awful place i think that we've created no this isn't good wow i see you can pull the pier out up from underneath wow oh isn't that nice well, I, what I, I think one of the other delightful things is that at every scale, like look at the the detail on that. At every scale, this looks gorgeous. Wow, this is a super obnoxious house. That is ridiculous. Wow. Now I wonder how I grab uh, bigger chunks of it. <laughs> it's just a nightmare I've created. I'm sorry, town people. These people all have incredibly large upper bodies because of the vast strength it takes for them. There's no elevators in this fishing village. They all just climb. It's like people that work in uh, op crane operators that have to go up those little ladders, except much worse in all kinds of torrential uh, weather. This is the most obnoxious weather. Wow. And I love by, by telling our story and in, in working on something, you come up with this. That's interesting to me, like that you can noodle around and that you're left with some remarkable result. That's a birdhouse up here. This isn't fit for human habitation. Oh my gosh. Who lives here? Who lives here? Hello, hello, hello. Excuse me. You want to uh, pass me my groceries? They've got to carry the groceries up that ridiculous ladder. Let me, let me go down. And down, and down, and down, and down. Berthold Hecklesmith lives here. Uh, he's known for making fun of his neighbors, but also uh, being uh, the local strongman in, the, in this county of the ocean. I don't know how they decide. Is this international waters? All right, I think they would, they would probably end up being a dispute. After he's been a tremendous jerk like this, I think then what would probably happen is that um, some of the locals banded together while he was out gathering provisions one day. They decided that they've had enough of Mr. Hecklesmith's uh, ridiculousness. They said enough of him. If he wants to live in his absurd tower with its cruel views, he's going to have to swim under one of the, the viaducts here, under the little channel whatever you would call this thing, and then he'll be able to park his boat outside and wear scuba gear, swim underneath, climb up with his groceries, and then do that seven or eight times. And uh, while this house here seems to just have a little celebration whenever he comes back from a grocery trip. Huzzah, they say. Huzzah, we've made him walk once again up the ladder and back down. The cruel people. These, uh, I, I think the ocean makes them angry. Well, who else lives in this area? I think there would be some other more sensible people who might decide that, you know what, I would like to live near this town. But what would they do? Yeah, they don't even want to look, right? They're, they're like, this, this hurts too much. Maybe it's, what do we have here? Let's take a closer look at these two people. Let's set everyone else aside. Hmm. Oh, that's nice, some shrubs. Now, these two people, they, they started off as just neighbors. And then eventually they, they used to bellow at each other. And each year they would just bring their balconies a little closer. 
until one day they've created a little walking way and they would meet in the middle. They would enjoy some tea together. They never married. Didn't have a family. Then they slowly created a bigger area between them. Sometimes it would hold celebrations. And then eventually they decided that they would they had another friend and that friend would come and visit with them. But that friend uh, started expanding. And they invited all their family and all their siblings. And soon, they all nearly started taking over. And they blocked the view of the two people that lived in their little houses. I think this is how most crimes start. What else do we want to have here? I like all these adjacent. Oh my gosh, look at that little... Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. They built a little staircase down so they could you just go get a little bit of... little beach. Go play in the sand. They're like, you know what? You, you grow tired of not touching land for a time. So they have a little place where they can just dip their toes. Reminds them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these little places, these are wonderful. As a respite from all this. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Do they they don't have any preference about colors, I don't think. And would you when they start want to start something else? What do they do? That made that someone shed. They got four oh is that windows? It's all Is there one door there's one door and three windows. Oh, that's nice. So it knows. Is this how they all go and get their their lawnmowers? How do they, uh, where do they store all their stuff? The lawnmowers they don't need. They thought they would. They brought them with them. It's like when people traveled west in caravans and they brought all their goods, uh, thinking I'm going to need a place to store my china and my or my fine cutlery and all of that stuff. And in fact, they did not. And that's how people here, they brought lawnmowers with them, weed whackers. They brought all kinds of games they thought they would play in the yard. And they do uh, mountain bikes that none of it's used. I like that you can seek to find a little plot somewhere here. You go, okay, let's find, oh, there's another star. Oh, these are some interesting little houses. Look at these. Oh my gosh. That's really cute. I love how the house just bends to the will. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely little tower. What else should we build? Let's see, we've got got this color. Have we used this color? I like how we can go from a t being a tower to like a town block. Like a, it's like an apartment complex.
some students looking for a place to live decided to go and see if they could uh, find a place to rent, and this is the only place available. It's like, uh, what were these? I guess one bedroom. I don't know what these are. Five bedroom apartments. And then after that, uh, they they became disused. No one wanted to live here because the university shut down because there was no housing. And then uh, th eventually, once uh, they finally captured him, they put him in here, and this became the local prison. So we got a panopticon design here. Everybody can see the prison. I think that's what it is. This is the local penitentiary. We got one door. Good luck escaping. That's what we're all about here, panopticon designs. This is a nice color. I like the idea with this kind of a thing that there is no there's no a real objective, there's no winning, there's no it's just about making interesting things. And there's a delight in that. It's this is this is Lego. This is playing make believe. That's very satisfying, I think. This is a horrifying place. I wouldn't want to live here. That's an interesting little town. Well, <laughs> well, I've had fun here. This is Townscaper. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it. If, if you're interested, check it out. It's, it's available everywhere, I think. And it's interesting. It's a fun little relaxing experience. I, if you don't have any, even if you don't have an objective, like we didn't have one, I didn't have any idea what I would build when we started, you end up creating something because these houses almost make stories themselves, just by their shapes, by their function, the functions that come out, the interesting little touches, those flourishes, the the spy glasses, the, the, the steps, the seating, the boots, it all tells little stories. You don't, you don't need much, you just need a hint of something to create a narrative, and the narrative's pour out of this thing and you want to keep building weird little houses i just want to keep seeing where this place goes i don't know that it ends well i suspect it ends in its conflagration whatever you call it it's nothing the whole thing burns up and goes back into the ocean at some point i think that's what happens i it's the lighthouse it they, I don't don't every uh it doesn't every story here end as the lighthouse just sadness all around <laughs> At any rate, this has been Townscaper, and I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time. Till then, bye-bye.